Hey guys, it's your boy Issa Yusuf, the Nigerian cologne connoisseur. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be reviewing cologne for my favorite niche brand, um, Mason Francis Cotillon, MFK as most people call it. Uh, Mason Francis Cotillon is a French perfumer. Um, he's famous for the cologne, the mirror that he um, refined for Jean Paul Gaultier in 1995, I believe. So I'll be reviewing eight of by personal collection in no particular order, but I will be saving the my favorite two for last. So um, stay tuned and let's start reviewing these colognes. All right, let's jump right in. The first cologne I'll be reviewing today is Grand Soir. Grand Soir is a really, really gorgeous cologne. It is spicy. Amber, vanilla, it is, it is downright seductive. It is vanilla, amber, labdanum, tonka bean. If you like spicy cologne, Grand Soir, Grand Soir is what you need to check out. It is a date night cologne. It's a, it's a, it's a winter cologne as well. Winter fall cologne, date night. It's, it retails for around, I think 225 to 250 with taxes and all of that. You can get it in Saks Fifth, Name and Marcos, or the, the MFK website. Grand Tour is one cologne I think you should check out if you like spicy cologne. The second cologne I'll be reviewing is Home um, a La Rosa. This is a perfect interpretation for me of rose for men. It is, um, it is rose. It is green. It is fresh. It's um, it's a winter cologne. Um, it is rose damask from Bulgaria. It is um, it's amber fused with silage. It is, for me, it is the best interpretation of rose for men. It is really, really masculine. I think. Um, there is um, a La Rosa for female as well, but this is the home a La Rosa for male. It retails around um, 225 to 250. You can get it Saks Fifth, um, Lehman Marcus. Um, I think I get some of my colognes as well from um, uh, Saint Bar in California as well, or from the MFK website. The home a La Rosa is a perfect interpretation of rose for men. So if you like. If you don't like rose and you want to try rose out, the home other rose is what I would recommend for you to try. Um, the next cologne we are going to be reviewing is um, is Emery's Home. This is a really, really, um, it's a really spicy cologne. It is ambery, amber you woody note for for male basically. It's vanilla, tonka bean, saffron, cinnamon oil. Um, I think the, the major note here is Emery's oil from the Caribbean. Um, I was opportunity to go to um, the spice farm in Zanzibar for my trip and I was able to smell some of this raw materials used in making this and it is really, really fine perfumery. You can find this in Saks Fifth, Name and Marcos, or the MFK website. Retails around 225 to 250. So if you like spicy cologne, Emery's Home is what you should check out. The fourth cologne I'll be reviewing today is Aqua Vitae Forte. Um, this is one of the, um, the Aqua Fortes um, from MFK brand itself. We have Aqua Celestialis, Aqua Universalis, but this is Aqua Vitae Forte. This is bergamot and lemon. It is, is mandarin. Is um, there's a there's a note here that I recognize from my trip from Zanzibar, which is Lang Lang. I smelled it and it is really good. It's orange. It's a floral woody cologne, so it is a winter cologne. Oh, and yeah, it's it's a really really good cologne. It's benzoin, cinnamon, it's um, um, mandarin from Cecile. It's it's orange. So if you like if you like floral woody colognes, um, Aqua Vitae Forte is what you what you should um, what you should get. Retails around 
225 to 250 and you can get it in Saks Fifth, Neiman Marcos, the MFK website, but um, you should try this out. I could be Thai Forte. It's one cologne I think you should have in your collection. Um, the next cologne we're going to be reviewing is, um, there are two of them. It is Gentle Fluidity Silver and Gentle Fluidity Gold. The reason why I'm reviewing these two colognes together is because they have the same notes in it, but they smell totally different. Some of them, the Gentle Fluidity Gold, um, I think the top note is um, cardamom seed. musk and vanilla at the top notes in in the gentle fluidity gold um in the gentle fluidity silver the top notes are um i think nutmeg is ambery is woody it's an aromatic scent basically um i think on the dry down you review the um, the ambery woody notes in here so it's it's for me it's a he's in house cologne so if if you need a he's in house cologne, gentle fluidity silver and gentle fluidity gold is what you should take a look at. And I think the reason why I like it is because they're two, they have the same notes in there, but they smell totally different. So if you want, they're, they're fall and winter cologne. One is fall, one is winter. This is um, a fall cologne. This is a winter cologne. You can wear it in the summer as well, but it's fresh, it's refined. It's um, it's a unis. It, it, they're both unisex actually. Men can wear them any time of the year. So, gentle fluidity silver, gentle fluidity gold. If you want a um, a he's in house cologne, you should get this. Retail around the same price for um, Nima. You can get it Nima Marcos, um, Saks Fifth, the MFK website, and and other places that you you just have to look. So gentle fluidity gold and silver. You should take a look at this too. Um, the next cologne we're going to be reviewing today is one of my favorite cologne. For me, it is the best interpretation of oud and rose. And it is no other than oud satin oud. <sighs> I can't say enough about this cologne. This is for me the best oud cologne I have ever smelled. And I smelled a lot of oud colognes, but this is well refined oud. This oud and rose. This is the best definition for me of oud and rose. It is oud, rose, benzoin, amber, vanilla. It is a date night cologne. It is damn right sexy. That is literally my definition of this cologne. It lasts you about seven or eight hours and it's on the pricey side. It's around 325 to 350. Okay, name of my Sachs, and uh, the MFK website and it's one of the Ouds. I think we have the Oud Silk Mood and the other Oud, but the Oud Satin Mood is a date night cologne. You can never go wrong with this, I promise you. And you know what I mean. The last cologne we're gonna be reviewing here is my personal favorite from the MFK brand and it is no other than Baccarat Rouge 540. Some people call it the red bottle, but it's um it's an amber woody flurry scent. It is saffron cedar wood um it's a musky wood ambergris uh, we have um i think yeah jasmine from egypt it is it's a really really sexy cologne date night it lasts about seven or eight hours um if you if you're looking for a date night cologne this is it right here going to the club this is it right here it retails it's a little bit pricey it retails for around 425 to 450 you can get a name and markers um, the mfk website or um Saks fifth and um this is a really really, really good cologne it's it's sexy it's classy it is it's damn right gorgeous so back with 540 you should try it out it's pricey but it is worth every cent you spend on it 